Hello, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at how to use Constant Contact Email Marketing Platform. It is one of the best email marketing platform for small businesses and freelancers. The first thing you will need to do is go on to constantcontact.com. Once on constantcontact.com, right where you see enter your email, you're going to simply type in your email right there. Then you are going to tap on get 14 days free. After you have tapped on get 14 days free, you will be redirected to this page. And all you will need to do is simply tap right where you see password and you can create a password. After you have created the password, you are going to scroll down a bit and you are going to tap on get started. And by the way, this platform offers numerous features and I'm going to be reviewing or going through each of these features. Once on this page, don't worry, you don't have to sign up to any one of the paid plans until you have tried out the free plan. So all you'll need to do once on this page, what I want you to do, you're going to simply go back over to the top left hand corner, tap on the constant contact logo. Once you have tapped on the logo, you'll be redirected to this page and all you're going to do now is tap on login. Then once you have tapped on login, you're going to give it a few seconds and from there, you're going to be redirected to your dashboard. So this is how to access a 60 day free trial period instead of the regular 14 days free trial period. So after you have completed the sign up process, you are going to simply tap on the logo in the top left hand corner. Then you'll tap on login and you'll be redirected to this page as you can see right here. And with constant contact, if we were to go over to the top left hand corner and I were to go to marketing campaigns, you can see that they offer numerous features. For example, you can use constant contact to create Google ads. You can use it for automations and obviously you can use it for email marketing, but you can also use it to create landing pages, sign up forms, and also for surveys. So let's say, for example, we'd like it to use it to create our email. All you'll need to do is tap on create email. Once you have tapped on create email, you'll be redirected to this page. And from here, you can tap on start from scratch if you want, or you could tap at the top right where you see newsletter, or you can tap on any one of these and then you'll see different templates that you can choose from, as you can see right here. And if you like any one of these templates, you can edit it quite easily. All you have to do is tap on select. Then after you have tapped on select, you will be redirected to a new page on which you'll be able to edit your newsletter or your email template as you can see right here. And I'll be showing you step by step how. Once on this page, any changes that you'd like to make, for example, to this section, all you have to do is tap on it. Then from there, you can replace an image if you want. Also, if you would like to add your logo, you can tap right where you see logo. And if you'd like to add a button or anything like that, all you have to do is go over to the left hand menu option. Then from there, you can simply tap and drag the image or the icon that you'd like to add. Once everything is to your liking, you're going to tap on preview and test in the top right hand corner. And from there, you could send a test email if you want, or you could preview it only by tapping on preview. And you can get to see how it looks on desktop and you can also get a preview of how it will look on mobile as you can see right here. If everything is to your liking, you are going to tap on continue. Then once you have tapped on continue, you will be redirected to this page. And from here, you'll be able to add the email address that you would like to send it to. Or if you would like to send a test email, you can do that. Or if you'd like to schedule it for later, you can also do that. So with constant contact, you can also schedule your emails. And next thing that we'll also be looking at is how to create a landing page using constant contact. So let's select landing pages. 
pages, you are going to tap on create a landing page. Then from there, you have two options, whether you like to create a lead generation landing page or a custom landing page. We'll select a custom landing page for this. After selecting a custom landing page, again, you could start from scratch or you can choose one of the templates. For this example, I would prefer to use one of the templates. So I'm going to simply scroll down and let's say I would like to use this template. All I'll need to do is tap on select. Once you have tapped on select, you're going to be redirected to a new page on which you'll be able to edit the template before making the landing page live. So after tapping on edit, you can see right here my landing page. And again, all of the editing options will be available at the side, as you can see right here. So again, if you would like to make any changes to any section, all you have to do is hover over the section, then tap on it. And if you would like to replace an image, you could tap on replace. If you would like to add something, so let's say for example, I would like to add an image right here. All I would have to do is tap on image, then I'll simply drag and place the image icon right there. You can scroll down and you can remove any section you want. So if you would like to remove this section, you can do that by simply tapping on it, then tapping on the trash can, as you can see right there. So you can remove any section you want by simply tapping on the trash can right beside it. So let's say I wanted to remove this entire thing. I could do that. If you would like to change the color of a button or the text in the button, you can do that by simply tapping on the text. You could also tap on the color right there and you can change the color of the button as you can see right there. It is quite easy to edit a landing page or anything overall on constant contact, even if you're a complete beginner. Once everything is to your liking, you could simply tap on activate or you could tap on preview to see how it looks. And again, you'll be able to preview how it looks on desktop. You will be able to preview how it looks on mobile. Then all you'll need to do now is tap on activate in the top right hand corner. Then you're going to add a landing page title. You would add a description also. And after you have added the description, you're going to get a custom URL. Then you'll tap on save and continue, and that's it. And also to create a pop-up using constant contact, all you'll need to do is tap on marketing campaign. Then from there, you could tap on sign up forms. Once you have tapped on sign up forms, you will be redirected to this page. And from here, all you'll need to do is tap on create a form. Then you can choose what type of form you like to create. Whether you like to create a pop-up, a fly-out, or a banner, or inline, or if you are in the US and you like to use the text to join, you can do that. You can also use constant contact to create lead generation landing pages or to do Facebook lead ads. So you can see there are numerous options you can choose from. But let's say we want to use it to create a pop-up. So I would simply select pop-up. Once you have selected pop-up, you will be redirected to this page. And from here, all you'll need to do is tap on create form. Then you are going to see all of the editing options on the left hand menu option. So from there, you can add a title if you want. You can change the title, which would be this section right here. Sign up for updates. You can also change the description. And then you can also change the contact fields or you can add more fields if you want. At the moment, it is only required to fill in the email. If you would also like them to require, to, if you'd also require them to fill in their first name, you can do that. If you want to request their phone number, you can do that also by simply tapping on it. And then you can scroll down, you can select email list. From there, you could create your list or you could tap on general interest if you want. Then you can also add buttons if you want and you can change the button color as you can see right here. 
you can also change the background by tapping on background so if you would like to change the background color as you can see right there you can do that i like this color once everything is there liking all you'll need to do now is tap on publish and by doing that you'll tap on publish right there but to access this you'll need to go onto their paid plan unfortunately and that's basically it you can also add your contacts quite easily by tapping on contacts then you'll tap on add contacts and from there you'll be able to add or import your contacts list as you can see right there and the other tools that you'll have access to by tapping on tools you can also integrate constant contact on different platforms so let's tap on integrations so you can see the different platforms that it allows integrations with you can see that you can integrate constant contact with wix squarespace zapier shopify woocommerce facebook etsy salesforce ebay numerous platforms are available for you to integrate it with i hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.